in the famous words of Outcast, hey ya. Uh, Hey everyone, this is Jesse from the Janjo Zone, here for another spicy deck profile in which we'll talk about the Armed Dragon deck and my cards for the deck, so let's get started. This is Janjo and I'm building a deck, yeah! Alright, so for Armed Dragon, I think I finally found a good build. I was working with some builds and I think I found one I like. Obviously, things could always change, but here are just my deck and my thoughts behind it. So, of course, we're going to want to go with not Arm Ninja. Maybe we'll do a Ninja deck, maybe one of these days. I would like to try Arm Dragon level 10 in a GOAT deck one of these days. I know it's not GOAT format, but I'm just interested in it. Uh, so, we got the uh, the three main Arm Dragon cards. We just got a bunch of new ones, and I wanted to do Arm Dragon because... The first one of the Janjo Deck Builder series, we did Horus, and of course the other famous level monster of the uh, older GOAT format uh, was Armed Dragon. There were some other ones, but these were the main big ones. So we got three Armed Dragons. I've seen a build where someone has ran two. You can do that, but I also like to have fun with the decks and like to keep it with the theme. So I'm going to stay with as many as I can. Uh, level 5, I initially, uh, in an early build, I had 2, but I feel like 5 was a good amount, um, or 3 level 5s, excuse me, you can't run 5 level, yeah, no, you can't do that, uh, but the thing is that you can dump a lot of it, um, to the graveyard, because you do kind of want to run high attack monsters because of his effect where you send a monster to from your hand to the graveyard and destroy a card with that, um, attack or less. Uh, similar to level 7, in which destroys all monsters with that attack or less. Uh, so you do kind of want to run a chunk of strong monsters. And I feel like we have a lot of ways to get him out regardless, so I do like that. Uh, in terms of level 7, I only want to run 2. He is kind of the more bricky one. Uh, with level 5, um, thankfully you can summon from your hand or deck um, for uh, to summon level 7. So, you don't need to draw into him, and he's not summonable otherwise. Um, so that's why I only run two in here. I want to keep it like a similar ratio to the horse deck. It's it's a little bit more, I think I think my horse engine had one less card. Uh, but that's kind of the ratio of arm dragon I, I enjoyed. Um, so obviously it's a level deck, so you gotta run level up. Um, we only need to run two of them, because again, there's so many ways to get these guys out. Level up is a nice shortcut in a lot of ways. Uh, we don't need to run three, it's it's a bit too much. Uh, but two, typically for level decks, I enjoy, unless it's a super duper aggro deck. I'm really happy, though, that level up isn't a once per turn, though, so, I mean, in theory, you could, you know, do stuff with it. Uh, so for searcher cards, there's actually a lot, um, a lot more than Horus. Uh, so we got Mass Dragon, which can search out um, and, and summon Arm Dragon level 3, which is great. Um, and then on the other end, we also have Flying Kamakiri, which, uh, because Arm Dragon is a wind monster, you can also summon out. I do like having all these options for it, and that's this is also why uh, some people run two level 3s, because there's just so many ways to get him out from your deck regardless. I do like having all the options. I thought about running maybe two uh, Flying Kamakiris, but I like having the option that if your opponent has a lot of monsters, you can decide when you want to pull the trigger on getting them out. So you can sacrifice, you know, they can destroy one, another one, another one, Armed Dragon, or destroy one, another one, Armed Dragon, or destroy one, Armed Dragon. You get what I'm going at here. There's a lot of uh, ways you can go about. Um, deciding your timing for Arm Dragon. That's why I'm running three and you know, all these three ofs. Because I want to control when I get the Arm Dragon out. So like, I can have it in my hand, but I can still get him out. And there's other targets I'm going to have in the deck uh, as well. Uh, one of them is the Twin Headed Behemoth. He's only at one in the GOAT format. Uh, which, you know, is fair. Um,. I mean, he's destroyed, um, you can bring him back, but he's a little bit weaker. So he's good for tribute fodder, you can get him out uh, with either one of these as well, making him the prime target. 
Uh, and you can use him to actually tribute for an Arm Dragon level 5. That's pretty good. So definitely want to run. I didn't want to run a bunch of dragons. I, I had one that had more of a dragon engine running cards like uh, Luster Dragon, Spear Dragon. I think I had Mirage Dragon in the side deck. Um, you could do more of a dragon toolbox. I suppose if you wanted to, maybe that'll be a video for another day. Um, but there was one other one I actually liked. Uh, this is kind of my own tech. Uh, Troop Dragon. I ran in a uh, dragon deck uh, in 2003 format one time. Uh, and I kind of liked him. Um, you could run three. Uh, two is enough for me. He's essentially another Twin-Headed Behemoth. Uh, again, he is summonable via both Kamakiri and Mass Dragon. Um, and in a case that if he's destroyed, you can special summon another one from the deck. That's kind of the only issue is that it has to be from your deck, so it can't be from your hand, which is unfortunate. So if you break into him, you know, maybe that's why you want to run three to add like another layer on top of a twin-headed behemoth. It's, it's, it's up to you, uh, which one you would want to run. Uh, but that's the one I ended up going with was two. Again, that way you can kind of decide when you want to get these cards out um, with the amount of the searchers you have left, the floaters. Um, and then you can use for tribute fodder for uh, Arm Dragon Level 5 if you want to go that route. Again, this is why I ran three of these, so you can run many ways to get um, your higher attack monsters out. Um, and of course, another great searcher is Sangan. He can search almost every card in your deck out. Uh, with exception of like the the strong monsters, but again, having more options to get more cards. This, I, I wanted to have more consistently, uh, more consistent control with this deck. I suppose would be a way to uh, you could describe it. And of course, if you're running a dragon deck, you gotta run the Machine Boy Fusilier Dragon uh, because. King Dragon is just amazing for dragon monsters, and since this is a dragon deck, that's what you're gonna just want to do. You're gonna run the one that, and uh, because of so, Metamorphoses. So you can get that uh, King Dragoon, since he's so good. So your opponent cannot target dragons with card effects, and you can special one dragon monster from your hand once per turn. Which is great. You can really start getting a lot of stuff out. This is why I considered doing a dragon toolbox. My first build was that, but I wanted to make this more of a pure arm dragon variant. Uh, another tech that was actually this is like the last card I, I consider adding when I, and it really makes sense adding it, uh, is creature swap because you can swap a bunch of weak monsters, uh, twin and behemoth, troop dragon, any of your floaters, and then destroy them, and then you get a lot uh, a lot of resource out of that. Because you can get another true dragon, you can get back um, your twin-headed behemoth. You can search anything out. Uh, there's a lot you can do with creature swap. You could run a scapegoat in this deck. Uh, I think one of my early builds had that um, to also use metamorphosis and creature swap on. Uh, that's kind of more up to you. I'm not running uh, scapegoat in this deck. Um, but that is an option uh, if you want to swap out any specific cards. And there are cards you could swap out of here. Um, so we do have the the Trinity. We have like the most like general cards in a uh, goat deck that you could run, kind of like the main cards. You got the Trinity, got Snatch Steel. Again, you can use this to tribute monsters with. You can just kind of use it for whatever you want. Uh, premature Burial. Again, Recursion is good. The Mystical Space Typhoon. I should just like have these just like already set. Because these are like in just about every deck. Some decks don't run Delinquent Duo. Uh, some don't run some of these cards. It depends on the deck. But most decks, like 8 times out of 10, will run um, those 5... No, 5... One, two, three, seven, 7 cards. Uh, so... We're also running one Salmon Destruction. I You could run two if you wanted more back row removal. Um, I'd probably side that in. Uh, I feel like you don't really need so much more because it's not a quick play. You can't use it on your opponent's turn. But it is just another Destruction card. It's not Breaker. So you don't need to commit a normal summon to it, which is good. And it also inflicts 500 points of damage, which you know, a little burn never hurt anybody. 
I'm gonna run Nobleman of Cross out. Um, again, that's just a really good uh, general card. Um, you could run Upstarts at s somewhere if you rather just like side something like Nobleman out. Um, but I generally find Nobleman's good, especially for a deck like this that you really want to face uh, face up monsters uh, because of their effects. And so if there's a way to just get rid of anything that's face down, then that's good. I like that. That's not too shabby. Uh, so then uh, that's going to be it for the spells. Uh, for the traps, again, this is kind of what tickles your fancy. I'm just going to run like the main cards. Uh, Mirror Force. Bring of Destruction to close out games. Um, again, going to that, that kind of burn thing with Stamping Destruction. And uh, one more recursion to Call the Haunted. Uh, again, you could run other traps that suits your fancy. Uh, Torrential Tribute, Sakuretsu Armor. Um, I initially had a Thunder Dragon build in my toolbox version that used Raigeki Break. Um, but again, maybe that'll be something for another day if y'all would like to see that. Maybe I'll post it on my Patreon. So check that out. Um, but the, the main thing is going to be, um, in terms of Metamorphosis, your Fusilier Dragon. You could get uh, some level 5s out of here. The Fiend Skull. Fiend Skull is level 5. Yeah, you can run some Fiend Skull Dragons. Um, is Dark Balter 5 or 6? He's 5 too, so you can run like Dark Balter. Um, you could run, obviously, other levels depending on what you'd see using on your opponent. Um, you could run like a Flame Ghost. And again, because it's GOAT format, you could run as much as you want, technically speaking. Um, but I'm just showcasing the stuff you probably want to use Metamorphosis on in this deck. Um, trying, to think of, trying to think of level 7 is off the top of my head. But basically, run what you want. Um, you'll, you'll know what you could run. These are just some options to run. I think, is Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon level 7 or is he level 8? He's level 7. So you can run some Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon too. He's pretty good because he has really high attack um, in terms of fusion monsters you can summon. So I'll probably do it for like the fusion cards. Yeah, you have a good, you have a good amount you can use. Um, your main one is gonna be King Dragoon though. Um, I like the way the deck looks. Again, the ratios can be changed or adjusted to your needs. Uh, but overall, I I think I really like like it. It doesn't look too messy. Uh, but it does have a consistent idea uh, going out around for it. Um, there's a lot of things you can kind of do with it. Um, it could be a little bit more aggro. Uh, again, you could cut out some of the, the floaters and searchers, but... You know, this is just my build I came up with. Uh, let me know what you think about it, what cards you would change, um, what cards you would take out, add in. Uh, and also let me know what you want to see uh, for the next deck profile. Because um, we there's a plenty more we can do. I only have so much in mind. That's not true. I have a lot in mind. But I always like to do what you all want to want to see. Because, you know, it's interesting to me. Uh, so... Of course, if you haven't checked out my merch, my Patreon yet, consider checking that stuff out to help support me further. And until I see you all next time, have a wonderful day.